Hi folks and welcome to another video from Brummie in the Highlands. Now I thought I'd take a walk across the Keswick Bridge today in Inverness. Can you see that there? We're approaching that. It's something I've never done. I've lived here for 13 years and always said one day I will walk across the Keswick Bridge. So that's what we're going to do today. We'll have a look at that. Um, it's not particularly sunny day. And I hope you can hear me okay with the noise of the traffic because it is quite busy as you can imagine. But you can see the Keswick Bridge there just standing ahead. Isn't that a fantastic view? Now this is before we're actually on the bridge. So I'll just give you a view there. Now this is the Bewley Firth. And you can see Inverness Marina just in the distance there, right in the centre of the shot. And as we pan round, you'll see in the distance the ferry. And that's an area of Inverness down there. Now the ferry on the Black Isle used to run across to that. Before they built the bridge in the mid-1980s, that's where you used to uh, be able to catch the ferry, which would take you across to the Black Isle, which we're on at the moment. busy with traffic so you may you may struggle to hear me but this was built as I say in the mid 1980s it was completed before that you used to have to go all the way around and through Bewley to get onto the Black Isle so um, the Black Isle wasn't as busy then as it is now because this is the main A9 road running north all the way through to all the way up there to the north John and Groats it stops just before John and Groats but um, yeah I mean the Black Isle now is a lot busier because of this main bridge that they've built there we go you can see a closer shot now of the RLNI, the lifeboat station there, North Keswick. And you can just see the road there, the coastal road that runs through North Keswick. And this, of course, is on the Black Isle. So we're just looking now down the Bewley Firth there. Isn't that spectacular? And if you look carefully, just on the right hand side now, you'll see the the slip there where the ferry used to go from South Keswick across to North Keswick which is just there before the bridge was built and you've got the entrance right in the centre of the shot there you've got the entrance now to Inverness Marina now it's quite shallow so we can't get the cruise ships into this part the cruise ships tend to come into uh, Invergordon and we've had quite a few this year we've had over 120 cruise ships come into in, uh, Invergordon this year gets more every year now, the, the sad thing is about the Keswick Bridge, and we've seen this in more recent uh, weeks and months, uh, the amount of people now that are coming here to attempt to commit suicide by jumping off the bridge. Um, and that's probably a sign of the times, I would think, but... Uh, yeah, it's, it's certainly very high. And uh, I don't think you're going to survive if you do jump off this. We are now more, more or less across the centre. Um, not that you can see it very well, but uh, over to the left there, that leads out into the Morrie Firth. And that takes you out into the North Sea eventually. Now, as we continue to walk across the Keswick Bridge, this bridge was built, as I say, in the mid-80s. It was also constructed to withstand fairly large earthquakes uh, because we are in a, an area on a geographical fault line, so we do get tremors. And uh, they can be big ones as well. So this was built to withstand that. 
personally, I personally wouldn't want to be on the bridge if there was an earthquake happening, even if it could withstand it. And you can see all the boats in the centre of the shop there. They're moored up in the, the safe harbour area. So I just thought I'd try and zoom in there and give you a close-up shot of the harbour there with all the boats in it. And then as we pan round you can see all the industrial area. Um, on the Longman Estate. So the big hill that you can see in front of us there with the, the masks on the top, that's Tom Nahurik Hill. And I'll do a video on that one of the days because there's quite some, some quite interesting facts about Tom Nahurik Hill. And then just there, a good close up there of the slip where the ferry goes or used to go from. And then again, another quick view of the Molly Firth. And coming into view now, you've got North Keswick. So we'll continue on our walk, you can see these high stanchions there with all the suspension ropes on. Marvellous piece of engineering the Keswick Bridge. You can see that sign or not folks but it says there Keswick Bridge opened by Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth the Queen Mother on the 6th of August in 1982. Now just as we walk across the Keswick Bridge if you look across to the left there you'll see some uh, orange supports that's the supports for the stand the main stand at the Inverness Caledonian Thistle football ground and uh, as we get closer you'll get a better view of the stadium there. So the houses, the housing estate that you can see there behind the stadium. That's Culloden, a village called Culloden. Now that's famous for a, a, a battle that went on there in the mid 1700s, the Battle of Culloden. And there's a battlefield visitor centre that you can go to, which again is another video I want to do at some point because again that's very very interesting. So the Longman Industrial Estate, there we go, that's got quite a few different kinds of businesses on. You've got car spares, you've got builders merchants, and even in the middle of the shop there, can you see the buses there and the coaches parked up? That's one of the bus depots for d &E coaches, a popular bus and coach company here in the Highlands. So if you need to hire a bus, go and speak to d &E coaches. All sorts of different businesses there. And that building that you can see right in the centre there, that used to be the Highland News headquarters, but uh, it looks as though it's standing empty now. Not sure what's going to happen to that. If anybody knows, let me know. Drop me a comment. It's a big building. Now, again, if we look to the left, you can see coming into view the Inverness Caledonian Thistle Stadium. The home of Inverness Football Club.
So we're getting closer to the bottom now, folks, and we'll just make our way down. Just let these cyclists go by. Okay, thank you. And we'll just take another look now from this angle down the Beaulieu Firth there. We are starting our descent now. And it's good that they've got these cycle lanes as well because it keeps most of the, the cycles off the main A9, which is treacherous for cycles, I would think. I certainly wouldn't want to be taking a, a bike ride on the A9 personally. And there we go folks, a closer shot of the football club for anybody that's interested in that. But we're virtually at the bottom of the bridge now on the other side, we're on the Inverness side, so uh, I won't go any further than that. I'll just pan round once more. I'll give another view of the Bewley Firth, isn't that beautiful? And the harbour there. Okay folks, well I hope you enjoyed that video. That's me signing off Brummy in the Highlands from the Keswick Bridge. Something I've always wanted to do and I've really enjoyed doing that. If you've enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Go on to YouTube. I have a channel there called Brummy in the Highlands. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button and the little bell that will give you a notification. Now, it won't cost you anything to hit the subscribe button. I always used to think that uh, subscribe means you need to make a payment, but it doesn't. It just means that you follow. So there we go. From me, Brummy in the Highlands and the Keswick Bridge. See you again soon.